Hello, this is Mrs. Ross, and this is Lesson 15. We're going to talk about equivalent fractions and reducing fractions, Part 1. Uh, these are the starred problems in Lesson 15. Uh, you can follow along in your book if you'd like, your Saxon Course 2 textbook, by starting on page 104. All right, let's get to it. All right. Number 1. Mr. Chong celebrated his 75th birthday in 1998. In what year was he born? Well, if he was 75 in 1998, then I'm going to subtract that. And he was born in 1923. Number two, let me change colors here. What is the probability of not spinning a four with one spin? So it's the probability of not four. So what are my total? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight total. And how many fours do I have? Just the one. Uh, wait, but this is the probability of not four, so it's going to be seven eighths. Describe how you found your answer. So I counted the whole, and then I counted the part that I wanted. All right. Number three. If 40% of the citizens voted no on the ballot, what fraction of all of the citizens voted no? Wait a minute. Oh, fraction. They want you, I'm sorry, that was, threw me there for a minute. So 40% is 40 per 100? Mm -hmm. There we go, 40 per 100. And then they want me to reduce this. So the first thing, I'm going to cancel the zeros. So I have 4 and 10, and then I'm going to divide by 2. I get two-fifths. That is my answer. That's the fraction. All right, let's pick another color. The farmer harvested 9,000 bushels of grain from 60 acres. The crop produced an average of how many bushels for each acre? So I want bushels per acre. So let's see, I have 9,000 bushels and 60 acres. I'm going to go ahead and divide that, Nine. and I get 150 bushels per acre. All right, number eight. It says reduce each mixed uh, fraction or mixed number. Okay, so A has six eighths, and I know that two goes into both six and eight, so I'm going to divide by two. I get three-fourths, and that is as far as that's going to go. And then here, the two is just going to kind of hang out for the whole process. Let me divide this by two. Bring this with me. Uh, six divided by two is three. Ten divided by two is five, and that's as far as that's going to go. Number nine, find three equivalent fractions for two-thirds by multiplying by three over three, five over five, six over six. What property of multiplication do we use? Okay, so let me do the multiplication and then we'll talk about that. Times three over three is two times three is six. Three times three is nine. Two thirds times five over five. Two times five is 10. Three times five is 15. And then thir two thirds times six over six. Two times six is 12. Three times six is 18. All right, so like I've said before, these are all different forms of 1. And when I multiply anything by 1, I get the same thing, okay? If I were to reduce all of these fractions, it would just go back to 2 thirds. So this is the identity property of multiplication. All right, let's change colors. Number 10, for each fraction, find an equivalent fraction that has a denominator of 20. All right, we got this. So 5 times what gives me 20? 4. So that's 12 over 20. And 2 times what gives me 20? 10. 10 over 20. 4 times what gives me 20? 5. All right. 
Number 18, write each percent as a reduced fraction. Okay, so where's my little guy? There we go. So 80% 80 is 80 per 100. I'm going to cross out my zeros, and then I'm going to divide by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and that's as far as that's going to go. Here I have 35 over 100, because it's 35% or 35 per 100. I'm going to divide by 5. I think that'll go into both of them. 35 divided by 5 is 7. 100 divided by 5 is 20, and that's as far as that's going to go. All right, sketch and shade a circle to show your answer to A. What? Um, okay. Uh, all righty then. Um, so if I have, oh gosh, one, that's four, that's five. This is bad. Four fifths. One, two, three, four, that's four fifths. I'm not sure if that's exactly what they wanted, but that's what we're giving them. All right, number 19. How many one eighths are in one? Again, we go with the reciprocal, which means we flip it. And there are eight one eighths in one. All right, number 20. Name the four properties used to simplify this expression. So we're given three fourths times five six times four thirds. We move four thirds, so it's an order change, which is the commutative property of multiplication. And then we add parentheses. Parentheses are associative. Okay. And then when we multiply a fraction by its reciprocal, we get one, and that's the inverse property, um, and then this is just 1 times 5, 6. Oh, no, this is identity. My bad. My bad. I got it. Identity, property of multiplication, because anything times 1 is that thing. All right. 11 twelfths minus 1 twelfth gives me 10. 11 minus 1 is 10, and then I'm going to divide by 2 to reduce. So from now on, you guys are going to be expected to reduce all of your fractions. Uh, 10 divided by 2 is 5. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Here I'm going to multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom. 5 times 2 is 10. 6 times 3 is 18. We're going to divide the top and the bottom by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Okay, last problem. Right, two-thirds is an improper fraction. So this is step one. That means we're going to popcorn it. So let's go ahead and do that. This is multiply, add. Three times two is six, plus two is eight-thirds. Step one done. Step two, then multiply the improper fraction by one-fourth. Okay, one-fourth. That means it's eight times one is eight. Three times four is twelve. And then reduce the product. So let's see. I think 4 can go into the top and the bottom here. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. And those are our starred problems. If you have any questions about anything, reducing fractions, uh, multiplying to get common denominators, etc., uh, please holler at me. I'd love to answer your questions. Have a great day.